This is Fox 25 Morning News. Who's managing your money? What you need to know in order to find a reputable financial planner. All right, BB, thank you. Well, for the past few days, we've been following developments in the local investment scandal. Brad Blight is the owner of WBIX, a Boston-based radio station. He's also a financial advisor. Last week, he sent a tape to the feds admitting that he stole millions of dollars from clients to buy the radio station and basically squandered around $20 million. The story brings to surface some important lessons for consumers. Here to give us some tips on protecting our savings and investment accounts is certified financial planner Mark Friedman. Mark, thank you for coming in. And Thanks I'm sure uh, seeing a story like this makes everybody in your business cringe. I mean, it really hurts because especially when you watch the people on the screen, uh, you're watching, watching the news here and seeing all these people that have actually lost this money. It just disappeared. It, it's, it's awful. Um, and something can be, hopefully something can be done about it. How do you know that you could trust your financial planner or advisor? Well, the first thing you need to do, I've always felt, is that when you hire a financial planner, you want to look that financial planner in the eye and see them on a regular basis. Dealing with financial planners that you meet through the radio, through some solicitation in an advertisement, through the phone, You've got to begin to wonder what kind of credibility is the person you're dealing with. Mm -hmm. You want to meet them face to face. And you need to uh, also, I mean, is there something you can do on your own to watch it once you, once you, you uh, sign up with somebody or, or agree to give somebody your money? I mean, you should be getting, what, financial uh, statements every month. You can follow the progress and know how your thing's doing. That's right. When, when, when you establish an investment account with an investment advisor or with a broker, with a financial planner, you should be getting a monthly statement. And now with the advent of the Internet, you can get access to your values every single day. I mean, the passwords are there for you to be able to get that information. You should be able to know that the prices of the investments that you purchase are moving daily. And you should also know that you have access to that, those dollars whenever you want them. All right. There's some very simple tips that you have here that will help people in terms of coming up with someone you could trust to invest with and uh, protecting your investments. And we're going to put them on the screen here. And your first one, an in, in investment advisor uh, should be certified, but there's more to it than just being certified, yeah, right? Yeah, uh, absolutely. When, when you want to hire your investment advisor or a financial planner, make sure they're a certified financial planner professional. That's a very specific designation that's given to certain folks to follow what's called the four E's. They must abide by a code of ethics. They have to have a certain educational standard. They have to have experience, and there's ethics that are involved in that process. I think I might have said ethics twice, but... The more, more ethics, the, the better. The more ethics, the better, right. So you have not just certified, but CFP, Certified Financial Planner. Absolutely. Now, to Brad's credit, Brad was also a certified financial planner, which is somewhat scary to our profession. I mean, you also need to dig much further than that. Let that be the minimum standard. And point out here that, that this guy apparently and, and confessed to being a con man of, of uh, great magnitude here. So in, in lumping him in with everybody is a little bit unfair because sometimes you're going to have unscrupulous It is. People. You're always going to have bad apples in the bunch. But there are a, a tremendous number of certified financial planner professionals that offer competent, ethical, genuine advice to their clients and they're sincerely interested in helping those clients achieve their lifelong goals. All right, another important thing that people should remember in terms of actually handing the money over and writing checks. That's right. Never write a check. Never ever write a check directly to an individual. There are protections that are put into place in the brokerage community that actually include what's called SIPC insurance, Securities Investor Protection Corporation, where if you're writing your check to a brokerage firm, you're protected for up to ten million dollars per account. If you, for instance, if I were to run off to Argentina, I, and for some way I was able to get your money, you're protected through this insurance policy, your money isn't going anywhere. The arrangement that Brad had certainly didn't follow that procedure. And one of the things you talked about, checking your statement again, and, and also watching for discrepancies in that, it, that's the, the other piece of advice we touched on too, which is really important. Absolutely. You need to continue to I mean, monitor. be involved in your money. Just don't leave it to somebody and say, I'm going to put it, it in your hands. It's, it's your money. I mean, this is, this is your life. This is your future. And you want to be sure that you're tracking it. I mean, statements that are produced in-house, in someone's little office in the back room somewhere, and they're not the statements that, that, can be, that are verifiable. You want to use a, a, um, an established brokerage firm that is actually producing the statements, has that support behind it, and you know that when you put your money there, it's really there for you. And bottom line, your pitch is to people, even though this guy was uh, apparently a con man and very good at it, don't, you know, don't let that put a blemish on the entire industry, that there are more good people out there than bad, and it's still Absolutely. a wise thing for you there to do. There are 48,000 cer certified financial planner professionals around this country. Every profession is going to have its bad apples, but there are dedicated, competent, ethical planners there to serve the needs of clients throughout this country. All right. Be involved in what you're doing, bottom line. Absolutely. Mark, thank you for coming in. Appreciate the Thank advice. you very much. Very timely, considering what's been going on in the news. Right now, we want to send it upstairs. Doug Meehan has got Sky Fox Airborne now, and he's checking the roadways for us. Morning to you, Doug.